<laughs> hey, hey, good evening, guten Abend. I'm been studying my German. Um, my hair is a little crazy today, I will warn you, but I think it's kind of, it's kind of the wind situation that's happening. Um, <laughs> I wanted to kind of finalize this last day of the countdown for Visualize with a story that um, a lot of you guys actually know. Um, if you grew up with me, you kind of know what my, my story is. Um, and maybe a lot of you don't know because I think I've met a lot of you um, later. Actually, I might move because my hair is driving me nuts. Um, let me turn around. <laughs> That's so much better. Okay, so my hair was driving me nuts. Um, I So before I get started, I really, really hope that you guys will join me for Visualize tomorrow. Um, it is tomorrow, June 24th at 11 a.m. Um, I have the link in, in the description for this video. I hope that you'll join me. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to look at where you've been, where you're going. We're going to be using stream of consciousness writing, visualization exercises, drawing, all of these creative things to help you step into your dream life. Um, so that's tomorrow. I hope you'll join me. But, you know, I wanted to end this, this week of like hashtag story time with a story that has been really, really near and dear to my heart. And it's been a story that I felt like, I'm gonna try to prop you guys up. I felt like I couldn't tell. Mm, I'm gonna have to hold you. Um, I felt like it wasn't my story to tell for a really, really long time. And basically, um, if you guys don't know what happened when I was a kid, my mom was shot by a guy who, basically by an ex-boyfriend, and um, that landed her in medically induced coma, induced coma, and I, um, you know, I had, my mom was in the hospital for a, a really long time. I ended up living with my dad. I had all of these things going on, and um, what's funny is, like, I wasn't, <laughs> there was this, like, crazy thing that happened which I felt really weird about when my mom got shot, which was like, I didn't cry. Like I, I legit didn't cry and I felt really weird about it. And, you know, you just kind of are in denial. And um, so what came of this for me, you know, like I will spare you the details of the, like the, the evening, the trauma, whatever. What came of this was that I ended up with, I ended up having chronic nightmares for years and years and years. I didn't tell any of my family I didn't, I only told some of my closest, like, literally I told my boyfriend, that's it. Um, I, I, you know, asked some, like, prying questions to my dad, like, oh, did you ever have nightmares? <laughs> you know, but it was never like, you know, I'm having this issue, I'm, I'm trying to overcome this. And so I was, like, plagued with these chronic nightmares. I would, like, wake up, like, thinking, like, if this is what sleep, like, if this is what sleeping is, I never want to go to sleep ever again. Like, I really, like, this is literally hell. Like, waking up with the, like, going to sleep and not being able to actually relax and let, like, all of the neurons go back into the place, whatever they are, you know, like, everything go back into the place that they need to do, go into, so I could actually get rest. And, I mean, from the time I was 12, the whole way through, um, the whole way until I was 20, I, so that's eight years, I had these horrible nightmares, like, horrible. Um... I mean, I would be so scared that I, like, couldn't even get out of bed. I was like, I, if I move, I'm going to be, like, killed because whatever this thing that was in my dream would be, you know, is, like, part of my reality now, right? And so I struggled and struggled and struggled with this. And I, one day I was just like, I, I told my boyfriend at the time, I was like, I can't do this anymore. Like, I legitimately cannot and will not be the person who is a victim of my own mind. There's clearly, like, I, I remember thinking, like, there was something wrong with me. Like, I need to go see somebody. I need to, you know, get medicated. Like, is there something to save me, really? This is, like, what I was thinking. And um, the, the answer was, yes, there is something. To, there is something to save me. There was nothing wrong with me. The problem was, is that I was... I didn't find my, my, I, I couldn't find the thing that I needed to find. So I was like, I tried, um, I tried therapy. I think therapy was required for me for a little bit. Um, <laughs> I tried, hi, hi. 
I tried X, I tried Y, I tried Z. I tried a lot of different things to help with this. And, you know, finally I was like, I think art's the thing. I And I I stepped into this idea that, okay, my heart's saying, like, art is the thing that's going to help you. Like, it's going to help me. I need to spend more time creating. I need to spend more time stepping into that. And so I started visualizing, like, what, what do I need to do? Like, I need to, you know what, I need to get to Philly. I need to go to art school. I need to do this. And... So I, you know, I ended up, I listened to my art. I almost didn't actually. Um, I almost actually did not move to Philly. I almost tried to apprentice to be a tattoo artist. as I got further and further into my creative practice, like as I explored what art meant to me, as I explored what creativity meant to me. And the thing is, is like I visualized this. This was something that I realized I followed what was here and not what was here. Because what was here was telling me there's something wrong with you. You're destined to have nightmares for the rest of your life. Like just just never go to sleep. Like you're gonna be this person. And here was saying, no you're not. My heart was saying no. Just make some more art because the art is going to show your soul and as I got to realize that the good in my body the good in my soul the good in, in the world was so much greater than the negativity and the terror and the, the scary stuff I slowly ended up not having nightmares again I you know I moved to Philly I started creating art I like my nightmares became few and far between and they became less and less intense as time went on and I realized that you know, creativity was the thing that saved my, like, it saved my psyche, it saved my mind from basically going absolutely insane. And it's all because, you know, and then as time went on, I realized, oh, here's specific materials, here's specific themes, here's specific things that I need to be doing, creating in the studio that fully represent my soul, like the beauty, the positive energy that was within me. And, you know, now I don't have nightmares at all with the exception of I will say with the exception of when I really stretch myself then when I really get stressed out when I really overdo it or I'm over worrying or I'm not connecting with myself and um I mean that's this story is the reason that I do what I do today I work predominantly with women um who are struggling to overcome whatever their story is like I don't care if you are you know, like in a shitty job and that's what you're overcoming, or if you went through a crappy breakup and that's what you're overcoming, or you literally went through something traumatic like me and that's what you're overcoming. Like, it's all about being happy and reconnecting with yourself and being the best person that you can be. And if I can overcome something that is chronic and that I literally thought was something that was embedded in my psyche that I could not get rid of, then you can overcome freaking anything, I'm telling you. And... I, I just hope that this story, you know, I could t go so much more in depth than usually when I, I actually talk across, you know, at different organizations and tell my story um, in more detail. But I hope that this has given you something to grasp onto and something to, this, this whole week has given you something to realize, like, you are not what you are now. Like, if you are not happy with where you are now, like, you are not that story. That's just your ego. That's just the past. And if we step into our heart, which we always need support for, guys, I have a business coach. I have a health coach. Like, I've got the support across the board. Um, I went to art school. Like, I got that, that support. Um, if you listen to your heart and you get support in stepping into it, you will become the person you've always dreamed of becoming. Like, there's no doubt about it. Like, listen to what your heart is saying and just go for it and get the support so that you don't, pat like, you. there's, like, two sides of the brain, right? There's, like, autopilot and emergency brake. 
And as soon as you step out of autopilot and you're like, I'm gonna listen to my heart, your brain's like, oh my gosh, emergency brake, I'm so scared. I'm not gonna do this. And then you go right back into autopilot. So that's why support is like super, super key in becoming that person and listening to what the solution is because I guarantee you that each and every one of you guys know what the solution is for whatever is going on in your life. Like if you hate your job or if you want to lose weight, like you know what you have to do. It's just a matter of getting support and doing it or being inspired and motivated to do it. Because lo losing 30 pounds, I, here's like one of my favorite ones. Losing 30 pounds isn't going to be the thing that motivates you to get your rear end up and get on the treadmill. <laughs> you know, picking up a hot chick off the off the street because you got a hot bod, like that's motivation, right? So it's it's all about this, and um, that's you know that's the story. If 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 you're interested, you know, like I and I hope that you would share yours because this is all about connecting for me. This is all about like seeing your soul, sharing my soul, being open, being genuine, and um, kind of encouraging a culture of this everywhere because I think that we are in this like screened like robot world where we are so terrified of sharing our vulnerabilities that we are literally not connecting with anybody and um, and not solving our problems because we're keeping them shoved deep down inside of us but that's my rant <laughs> that's my story I hope that you'll join me tomorrow for visualize um, it is tomorrow morning June 24th 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's a three-hour virtual retreat. We're going to be talking about where you've been, where you're going, what's inspiring you. We're going to be a answering, you know, doing a lot of stream of consciousness writing, visualization exercises to get us into the next place. And um, we're going to be using some drawings. So it's going to be really fun. Um, and as a celebration of the final day, as a celebration of being vulnerable, as a celebration of freaking authenticity here in the freaking world, <laughs> I invite you to join me tomorrow. Um, so I have a link in the description. I hope that you'll click that over. But before you click over there, I want to give you a coupon code because I think this is the celebratory moment where if you do it, you should be rewarded, right? And so if you click over there and you enter the code AWESOME, the word AWESOME as the coupon code, you will save $100 off of the ticket. So instead of 197, it'll be 97 for three hours. You'll get all the materials, all the things that you need. You'll have access to me in a small room, you know, virtual room where you can ask me anything. We can work through your problems. We can work through what it is that is, in, is inspiring you and get you into action and get you into the life that you want to live. But you, it's literally only open until 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight two nights all right because i gotta have time to get you all the like the materials that you need right so i hope to see you tomorrow i hope to see you step into your authentic self to step into vulnerability to step into authenticity to be that person the person you freaking feel in your soul that you know you're destined to be but you just might be a little scared to be it so i gotta go i gotta go cook dinner i'm just like chilling out in a park it's totally a dog park um i hope you enjoyed the little visitor He's really cute. But, um, yeah, I've got to go. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for holding space for me to be vulnerable, to share my story. And, um, you know, I hope that I can share an open space, you know, create space for you to be that too. To be totally accepting of who you are and what your story is and be able to move forward. So, all right. I love you guys. <laughs>